What up Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by the fine folks down at Naples Rib Company and all of our Cabrillo Athletics coverage is sponsored by the Cone family. Cabrillo boys basketball going up on a Tuesday. Jags hosting Anaheim in non-league action. Familiar face in a new place. That's coach Chris Spencer. The Jordan High alum went on to play in college and is now back coaching the Jags with high hopes. Cabrillo taking on the Anaheim Colonials. Colonists? I'm not really sure. I am sure that Cabrillo highlights were early and often in this one. Deshaun McMiller getting it going with a steal and a score. Then McMiller with a nasty crossover and the finish. Cabrillo out to an easy early lead. D-Mac dishing it as well. Jeremy Sickwig out there on the corner like common for all three of those. It's 15-3. Kevin Brim getting in on the action. It's Brim to the rim with the finish and the foul. Despite being the shorter side, Cabrillo did a great job on the boards, rebounding very well as Brim goes back up with that one. McMiller showing off his passing skills in rhythm to Chad Washington for the easy finish. Then D. Matt getting stopped at the top of the key. But Mr. Washington goes to space and gets found again for the bucket and the foul. Cabrillo after the first quarter up. 21-11. Defense turning into offense for the Jags in the second. This steal and the dish to Khalil Williams is another bunny for the Jags. Then how about this effort here from McMiller to get on the floor and start the fast break for Washington? That's a March Madness clip, and it's still November. Washington, two of his 19 for Cabrillo. Jags led 42-24 at half. Anaheim went on a little run in the third, led by Osea Bookwan's 19 points, but the visitors never got back to within a single-digit deficit, mostly because of the play and leadership of McMiller, who just plays so hard. There's this old Kobe Bryant quote about being the best player, but playing hungry like the last guy on the bench. That's McMiller. His effort and energy were palpable tonight, and Deuce got loose for a game-high 24 points as Cabrillo wins easily 73-51 to snap a two-game losing streak and get one step closer to their goal of 14 wins, which would be the best in school history. So like I said, high hopes in year one under Spencer and more league play is around the corner. Thanks as always to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, and make sure you stick with the 562.org for all of your local sports coverage.